The St. Bernard is a very recognisable breed due to its famously large size and loving looks. These gentle giants are devoted companions, loyal to their family and kind in nature. In today's video, we'll be comparing this loving breed with the Akita. The Akita is a seriously impressive breed. They're extremely loyal guardians to their human companion and their devotion is lifelong. Welcome back to the Fenrir St. Bernard Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at Fenrir, canineleaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the St. Bernard and then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise the perfect St. Bernard. So if you're a lifelong lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new pup, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future St. Bernard video. So let's dive right into today's video we'll look over these two breeds their similarities and their differences Firstly, let's take a look at the breed's history. The St. Bernard and the Akita have very different histories and origins. There's actually a lot of myth and legend surrounding the St. Bernard's history, but it's believed that these large dogs originated in Switzerland and were used in the Alps as search and rescue dogs. Traditionally, St. Bernard's were thought to have originated in a monastery hospice in the Swiss Alps in the 11th century, but the breed's first verifiable appearance at the monastery, or elsewhere for that matter, was around 600 years later. So there's a lot of uncertainty surrounding this which has given space for myths and legends to be created about the dogs. Many researchers and experts believe that they were first intended as watchdogs of the monastery but as they started to show their incredible rescue abilities they were then used as mountain search and rescue dogs. To this day monks will still have a Saint Bernard as a companion in the monastery simply out of tradition. The Akita gets its name from the province of Akita in northern Japan where it's believed they originated from. Their known existence goes back to the 1600s, a time when the breed guarded the Japanese royalty and were used for hunting fowl and larger games, including animals such as bears. The breed was introduced to America by a woman named Helen Keller. The Japanese presented her with an Akita puppy, which was the first Akita puppy to be brought to the USA. Sadly, however, the pup died at a very young age of a viral disease. The Japanese government presented Keller with her first puppy's older brother after the upsetting ordeal of losing her first pup. After World War II, American servicemen had been stationed in Japan, brought back more of the remarkable dogs. The American Akita developed into a more robust dog than the Japanese Akita, and so was highly valued. Both variations of the breed are historically and well-renowned for their fearlessness and loyalty. Male St. Bernards stand at around 28 to 30 inches at the shoulder and weigh between 140 to 180 pounds, whilst females are around 26 to 28 inches, weighing 120 to 140 pounds. The St. Bernard's coat can be found as two different variations, short haired and long haired. The short haired coat is smooth but very dense and is slightly bushy on the thighs where the long haired tail becomes shorter towards the end. Then the long haired coat has a slight wave to it and the four legs have feathering while the thighs and tail are very bushy. St. Bernard's can be a variety of shades of red with white or white with red and patches and markings on the dog can differ between individuals. The signature dark markings on the saint's head and ears resembling a mask are extremely desirable to many St. Bernard lovers. Male Akita stand at 26 to 28 inches at the shoulder, weighing around 85 to 130 pounds. Female Akitas are usually from 24 to 26 inches and weigh between 70 to 110 pounds. Akitas can come in many different coat colours and combinations, including including black, white, chocolate, combination of colour, brindle or white. They have a double layered coat with a very dense undercoat and a short top coat. It's very important to consider the potential health conditions that your dog may be prone to, as you will need to be able to afford the care for them as they need. The Akita is a generally healthy dog, but can be prone to certain conditions, including hip dysplasia, bloat, hypothyroidism, and other genetic glandular conditions and eye problems. As with a lot of larger dogs and purebred dogs, the St. Bernard can be more prone to certain health conditions too. The St. Bernard can struggle with hip and elbow dysplasia, eye problems, epilepsy, heart conditions, allergies and stomach issues. The Akita is a bold, confident and strong-willed dog which is extremely devoted and loyal to their family. They're naturally wary of strangers which is due to being bred to guard and protect their family at all costs. They can be aggressive towards other dogs that they're unfamiliar with, especially those of the same sex, so are better suited to a one-dog household. The Akita is affectionate and playful with their family they long for companionship and will want to be part of daily activities. They can be quite mouthy and love to be carrying toys or household items around. An Akita's strong personality can be overwhelming, so they need an owner that's familiar with the character and is able to handle them well. They are a breed 
that needs plenty of exercise, both physically and mentally, in order to prevent boredom, which could lead to unwanted destructive behaviours. The St. Bernard is famously known as a gentle giant that honestly could not be closer to the truth. They're kind and gentle natured dog with a loving, affectionate personality with plenty of patience for all members of the family, especially children. They love their families and being given lots of attention, but they're not massively demanding in that way. They're friendly and welcoming dogs with a steady, kind and careful temperament. St. Bernards are very aware and in tune with their owners and their surroundings. Their affectionate personality can mean that these big dogs forget just how big they are when focused on getting love and attention from their human companion they'll still try and get on your lap for a cuddle well i hope you enjoyed today's video if so make sure you hit that like button and get involved down in the comment section below and don't forget if you are new here to make sure you subscribe we have three dedicated saint bernard videos coming here every single week so i can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the fenrir saint bernard show